Hi, CPS. Welcome to the session. My name is Srinivas. Let us uh, discuss about the examination pattern of CPA certified public accountant. Let me introduce the subjects first. In CPA, we have four sections conducted by the uniform for CPA examination, auditing and attestation, business environment and concepts, financial accounting and reporting, and regulation. You can write these four sections in a four subjects in any order. Different candidates have different opinion about selecting this order. Some candidates feel that FAR has volumes, heavy amount of syllabus to cover, and uh, they begin with the uh, FAR to complete. Why? Because the moment once you pass one exam, you'll have to pass the remaining three exams within 18 months from that date. Otherwise, you will lose the credit of that subject. So many candidates have a confusion on which subject should uh, we begin with. So based on your you know, uh, own opinion, we should uh, you know, choose the subject. Some candidates feel that we'll become more confident once you, you know, pass one uh, subject. So this type of candidates select BEC, which is much easier as compared to the other subjects. Some candidates uh, feel that the regulation is a tough subject, which is a combination of law as well as taxation. So they choose regulation in the first order. Anyway, we'll have to cover all the subjects, but choosing the first subject depends upon one's own, you know, opinion. So choose the right one, prepare well, and pass all the subjects within 18 months of passing the first subject. The exam is of four and a half hours, four and a half hours in total, whatever the subject you choose. Four and a half hours comprising of five minutes, the moment you enter into the Prometric Center, the examination center, we'll have a lunch code where you need to enter your ID, your ID, which we call it as NTS code. There will be some screens which will explain about the exam. That will take another five minutes. And uh, the exam of any subject is of actually four hours. In between, you can have a break of 15 minutes where the clock stops. Means you don't need to worry about the time. The clock stops there. In the last five minutes, once you complete the exam, there will be a small survey about your preparations, about your experience with the testing center, preparation material, etc., etc. So overall, the length of the exam is of four and a half hours. So try to prepare to sit continually four and a half hours without any breaks. But of course, there is a break where you can avail this to have some kind of relax. Now the examination structure, whether you write B, C, R, 
audit or regulation consists of five sections we call them as test lips now we'll discuss about these five test lips of each exam each section these test lists are classified into multiple choice question test lists and task based simulation test lists mcqs and tbs in bec business environment and concepts you will have to complete some written communication tasks so wherein you will have to write some you know communication or letter type of uh, information to the concerned parties as per the question it is called written communication task but otherwise the remaining three subjects you'll have same tbs task based simulations and uh, here uh, in tbs task based simulations some questions are of you know uh, uh, you know numerics some or theory which you need to input your answers that i'll explain you in the next sessions about tbs in detail but in mcqs you will have four answers you need to choose the right one one answer radio button question so there is will be only one answer correct answer tbs will discuss in detail in the next sessions the examination structure for any a subject like as i said the total duration of the exam is of four and a half hours but the real examination is only on subject basis it is only four hours so how it is you know uh, broken down into different you know sections the first five minutes as i said the it is used for entering your you know uh, lunch code then you need to sign some you know confidential information etc then you'll have test lists five test lists for each exam for any exam the first two test lists are mcq test lists multiple choice questions different uh, subjects have different number of questions again this will discuss in the coming sessions uh, first mcq testlet in between before you move on to the second mcq testlet you can take a break but clock runs so if you take a break in between first and second you will lose time but you can take break you are allowed to take break between second and third again you can take a break after you finishing all the mcqs of second testlet but clock runs again first tbs task based simulation yes finish off then by this time you have taken first mcq test plate second mcq test plate and first tbs as well yes here you can take a break where clock stops so whether you want to continue yes you can continue but those 15 minutes you will lose so better I feel uh, you should take a small a break. You'll have some kind of warm up and you can come back and write the exam. 15 minutes break. Clock stops there, so you don't lose any time. Second TBS and third TBS. Between second and third, of course, you can take a break, but clock runs. Completed second and third as well. Yes, you will have to fill in some survey about your experience the testing center preparation of material any suggestions etc that's all it's of four and a half hours in total so when you write the exam yep that four and a half hours are very very important how you manage your four and a half hours how you take breaks whether a particular break is to be taken or not of course you can take break you will you will have plenty of time the four hours is a good amount of time to finish off your cpa exam but at the same time you know 
you should not take a risk. Sometimes uh, you may have some questions wherein you have to reread the scenarios, especially in task-based simulations. So try to manage your time well. And uh, I feel personally that that 15 minutes break where clock stops, better to avail the break. Yep, so that's all for now. We'll see you in the next sessions on section wise, means subject wise, MCQs and tabulations, uh, sorry, task based simulations, and I'll introduce the subject as well in the coming sessions. Thank you and uh, see you in the next session. Goodbye.